lovely day it is with our teachers looking beautiful and handsome master work. Wow, well, I prefer to put three lines to wish our teachers, but seeing them astonishingly beautiful and handsome, the word literally left me. And now all that I can say is Happy Teacher's Day. Thank you all for everything. Hi, I am Pinto from class 11, and on my right is a shorty, lovely Miss Rokali, the young course for today's program. Well, that was not good of you to call me shorty, but then it's all right. Uh, <laughs> leaving that aside, today we have a beautiful day ahead of us with beautiful music and dances and other more talents to be shown, and that, all that is for our teachers. Before we start, I would like to request Mr. Combo to bless our day with his prayer. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> I want to wish all the teachers a very happy Teacher's Day. God bless each and every one of us. Before I pray, I would like to read out a Bible passage, <clears throat> blessing all the teachers and all the students out here. Psalms 32, it says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eyes. Let me repeat. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eyes. This is the word of God. May God bless each and every one of us. Shall we all close our eyes, unite our heart, and let me have a word of prayer. Thank you, Father, for this day. And we also want to thank you so much for the life of the, all the teachers and the students present out here. Father, we are here to say thank you. And we are here, gathered here, to say we love you from the bottom of our heart, each and every one of us. We commit our life and the rest of the program that is ahead of us into your loving throne of grace. In just mighty name we pray. Amen. Now the time shall be given to our principal, sir, Dr. Vita Sumi, to share our wise and earnest advice. Morning, everyone. Uh, thank you, uh, anchors, masters of the program, Ms. Rokali and Mr. Pinto. In the very first place, I want to give all praises and honor to our living God for giving us such a beautiful day. I also want to uh, wish all the teachers a very happy and blessed Teacher's Day. Teacher's Day is only, uh, actually on the 5th, uh, which is uh, tomorrow. But uh, tomorrow it's Sunday. So, uh, uh, this is an advanced Teacher's Day. I also want to thank all the students of class 12 and 11 especially, uh, and the class teachers for organizing this program. The situation is not very congenial. We wish to have a program with all the uh, students, including the primary and uh, uh, middle class students, elementary and primary students, but the, way, the situation is not good due to pandemic. Everything is upside down. No activities can be conducted. But this year somehow uh, we are able to uh, conduct it this tedious day. Our school was established in 2010, as we all know. And uh, this year, this is the 12th 12th year of our school in, in existence. And except last year, we have had the program, Teachers Day program. Last year, teachers went uh, somewhere. Uh, we could not have the program like this. But this year also, I was not expecting uh, to be having this kind of program, but very uh, luckily, somehow, the situation uh, is uh, not out of control. And so we are able to have Teacher's Day like this. This is the 12th Teacher's Day of the school. Teacher's Day is held every year on the 5th of September to celebrate the birthday of Dr. Sarve Pali Radhakrishnan. Dr. Sarve Pali Radhakrishnan was a teacher himself. He was the first Vice President of India and the second President of India. So he himself being the teacher, he knows how much teacher sacrifices. And he 
uh, was of the opinion that Teachers' Day should be celebrated nationwide. And on his birthday, he, um, when he was the president, Teachers' Day in India was celebrated. Till now, and uh, today here, we are very happy to have a Teachers' Day here. Now, due to pandemic, teachers are having a very hard time. The education system, the teaching learning process have all uh, changed drastically. The trends in education have changed. The pedagogy of teaching has changed. And online teaching learning has become the uh, main medium of uh, uh, education. Now, only class 11, 12 are allowed to have classes. Class 9, 10 and below are not allowed. Very soon, I believe, class 19 will be uh, opened as well. But the lower classes, I think it will take some more time. So teachers' role have really changed. Teachers have to adapt to the system, and because of which uh, they are really struggling. I am worried for some of the teachers, this pandemic, uh, may uh, make them lazy for some, but for many, uh, this uh, new system of teaching is a big challenge to the teachers, and teachers are really working so hard. I still very uh, vividly re remember the names of uh, uh, my teachers. Uh, in, during our days, the teachers were mostly non-locals. Now we have very few non-locals here, uh, mostly locals. In those days, South teachers and uh, especially teachers from uh, Kolkata uh, uh, was here in Nagaland, not only in Zinimoto. So uh, I still very vividly remember all of them. Now, uh, when I just try to recapitulate or think back of the times during my school days, now I know the personality of each of my teachers. The teachers who were just uh, teachers by namesake, they were here just to get the salary, or they, they were here just because they, were, they came as a teacher. But there are, I, I now I remember the real genuine teachers who had a very genuine concern for the students. And uh, uh, really appreciate their work. I want to urge the teachers that the time will come when our students, when our children today, they may not understand exactly uh, uh, what kind of teachers we are. But the time will come when they grow up, they will try to you know, bring back all the uh, school, day, school uh, days time, school days memories, and they will actually assess you as to whether you or me were good teachers or just namesake teachers. I think uh, it is very important to all the teachers to understand that uh, we have to be genuine teachers. We have a genuine concern for our, for our students' uh, future and their career. So I want to urge all of us to once again retrospect or introspect of our years of teaching. Here, now 12 years of Emmanuel School. Uh, last two years, this year and last year, the school was somewhat uh, not able to run properly. But uh, 12 years of uh, school, now our teachers here, we have to, as I said, we have to introspect and we all have to retrospect again to the job that we have done. Whether we have done the job sincerely, where, whether our job is justified, whether we have done justice to our job, we have to retrospect and look back at how we have come thus far. And if we have done, if we uh, have come, if we have done good job, then good. We have to go on. But if we think, if you think, that we have to improvise ourselves, we have to do uh, the job more sincerely, then this is the time to uh, talk to ourselves. Because Teachers' Day is 
the day when the children greet us, when they give their blessings to us, at the same time when we have to realize our role as a teacher. Now, whether we like it or not, technology is here. We cannot be averse to technology. To some of our teachers, uh, you know, we are so outdated that we don't even know how to use WhatsApp. Nah. But times have changed. All of us are trying to adapt to the uh, new technology, to the changes in technological world that is taking place. And technology will, you know, rapidly go on, grown. We have to uh, be able to adapt to the system. We have to be uh, very technologically, uh, uh, technology friendly and adapt to the challenges and the changes that are taking place. I want to uh, also urge the teachers to be technological, technology friendly and we have to be able to adapt to the challenges and the uh, uh, changes that is taking place. Uh, on this day, let us be remembered that we are being blessed by this much children. Today we don't have, uh, um, as I said, elementary and primary children here. Uh, but on behalf of all the students, our senior students are here to uh, give their blessings to us. Let's, on this teacher's day, let's commit. Let's decide to commit ourselves on, once again to be a genuine teacher. With these few words, I will uh, wind up my speech. God bless all the teachers. God bless all the students. Thank you. First of all, a very happy teacher's day to all my teachers present here. Wishing you a very good morning, respected principal, vice principal, teachers, and all my beloved friends present out here. We all have gathered here today to celebrate this Teacher's Day. Today is a very special day for all of us where we can pay a hearty tribute to all our dear teachers who take untiring efforts to build our future. <coughs> As our principal has said clearly, this Teacher's Day is celebrated on 5th September every year, and it is the birth anniversary of Dr. Sarvapali Radhakrishnan. He was the school president of India. He was also a great scholar and as well as teacher. He suggested that celebrating 5th September as, uh, instead of his birthday, it would be a proud privilege if this day is celebrated as Teacher's Day. Since then, 5th September is celebrated every year as Teacher's Day. We celebrate it with great joy and happiness. It gives us the opportunity to express our gratitude towards our teachers. Teachers play a very great role in building the character of the students. They give us knowledge, believe in us, and help us in achieving our dreams. They mainly focus on improving the personality of the students and making us a good human being. Teachers are undoubtedly the backbone of the society. He or she shouts, shows the right path to their students and educate them so that we would be respected by others in the society one day. But being a teacher is not a, um, a cup of tea for everyone. And I would like to thank all my teachers present here who helped me achieve what I am today. We all know that it would be an um, unimaginable scenario if there would be no teacher to guide us through these 14 years of school. Not only a school teacher, but any educator has the power to influence our minds to, the great, to a very great extent. The first work of a teacher is teaching. To make complicated things easier for the students, it is the core work of the teacher and that is the magic which they have. But this magic does not come for free. They had to go, they had to undergo uh, various efforts, hours of practices, thinking, research, to make, us, to make the things easier for us to understand. Growing up is, is very hard, but if we still remember the values that were taught to us by our teachers, it could be easy, we could easily face the real world. They taught us to fight our problems 
and not run away from it, but face it bravely. I have also known teachers who have worked very hard day and night to solve a particular student's problem. The teachers are our guardians right after our parents. They scold us when we are wrong and support us when we are right. They know what is best for us. Though all the times, we mostly feel it's unfair. But as we grow up, we also start to understand the real world and we also realize that teachers had the best interest of us in mind. They are like our parents. They guide us through our ways when we feel lost. They had also taken care of us when we were in school, made us learn the difference between right and wrong. There have been t times when we find life as a difficult situation and our teachers have taught us to fight those difficult times. Almost every student present out here would have had one teacher whom they always look upon as their inspirations or role models. Teachers always keep their students their priority first, gave extra classes to the students who lacked in classes. They helped the financially weak students to pursue their dreams and encourage them to achieve it. Coming, uh, coming to the end of my speech, I would like to say that I will always be grateful to my teachers who had a significant influence on my life and I was never an excellent student, but my teachers were always there to support me, directing me to the right path and encouraging me to do better. As we come to the end of the speech, I would like to thank all my teachers present out here who had molded me into the person I am today. I do a job that I am happy and I am an independent person. I speak up against the wrongs. I hope they will be glad to know that I do, the, I do my best as a res responsible citizen and preach the same. Thank you, teachers, for all the lessons you people have taught me. I could ask for more, but with this, I come to the end of the speech. Thank you, everyone present here for being such an attentive audience. I hope you all have a great day ahead. Thank you all. Good morning, everybody. We call ourselves the bachelors and half bachelor. Uh, it's, it may seem like all of a sudden, but uh, we planned it this way. This is, you know, you've uh, done so much for us, we wanted to surprise you. So this is our surprise to you. We have prepared some songs. I hope you like it. again my turn to win some or learn some but I won't hesitate no more no more it cannot win I'm yours Na 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 Hasi, 
love it I don't wanna cheat now I want fair play I don't wanna crash land like an airplane I want to back but when you act like that Like I once had a talk you don't call me back Yeah times were hard and when you left they got hard My back got cold and my room got dark Girl, I'm still in love I know so are you Why pray for the rain when the skies are blue I'm still in love I know so are you Let's talk tonight and we can talk it through Yeah Let's make this things like to call upon them. Um, first of all, our principal, sir. <laughs> um, secondly, Miss Makali. Thirdly, Miss Tony, vice principal. Fourthly, Sir Hushto. And fifthly, Sir Kambo. Six will be Miss Ashti. <laughs> Please come up on the stage. So, our six teachers, they will use all their talents and actions and expressions to let you guess out. And only the teachers who are sitting down there will guess out. Uh, I want all the uh, students to please zip their mouth for now. <laughs> and I want the teachers sitting down there to guess out what they are trying to do. So now let us start with Miss Magali.
Yes, the last one. You give them a last chance. It's kind of bad habit. Yeah, it's a bad habit. Hint. 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 You are there, but not there. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly to the answer. This one more. Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> So poor. the moves Oh. 
Excited, so what's the expression of your excitement? I, I <laughs> ah, it's not. <laughs> no, but they, they already know, so it's. Okay. <laughs> so you get a little bit something. <laughs> okay, thank you then. No, sir. If I 
Problem <laughs> Atabi <laughs> Panapu Panako come to get him so bell and bear skim or skim tea. Panacoplan at the bone at Kirtimi, I tell me Bokoska give a jona, Asa who he buys to the bank killer, Magala, she depend my bark and Jane. I get it to which cack the barank, Marasa. I get it to lack the barank, Marasa. I get it to the cack the barank, Marasa. I tell me Boko, Scrap a give a jona. Teacher, he bacoplan at Ashlag Gmari Tulu, Ahulag Gmari Tulu, Anna Ahugusu, Ahusba Banga Kam the Gmazer, the Bailey Givy Gmazer, Abanga Givy Gmazana, Gmajo La Rashi Benio, Kunjani Roskim D, Emmanuel Gioia, Al Honis Assane Vajono, Panoka Kam the Bola, Al Honos Asmoslo, Panoka Kam the Killa, Al Honos Asmoslo. Panang Nipunili, Panang Kimi and a Panang Paza, a Tan Mabal Mwa come to Banade, Alonus Hasmos Panyok Snesh Kim T. Teacher Scrooge the Lapo, Teacher Days the Lapo Vecha, Panang Goblak Kumrat Rubel and Bissos Kim T. Teacher Stay Hippa Vecha, Panang Goblak Kumrat Rubelo, Panang Black Hexcana, Kimiakin Kubikin Vecha, a Tan Mabal Gam the Scats. Come to Copes Bizzle, Kamaja Bingo, Nim Gam the Kamsagish Bizzle, Apo Anna Hogim Tosan Kamajan Kubevesani. Amen. Care, please. Okay. Is it a letter or a something? <laughs> Dear local BVS, hope you are not fine. I am Don Principal of Emmanuel High Secondary School. We are hiring you for one rupees. Only one rupees. Please sing our song with beautiful. Teachers and oh, including they don't invite BTS, you know. But I don't know where did, where did they hire us. But still, then we are a local. Local is a local. You call local Sanchez is local Sanchez. So we are local. Okay, and please. Don't, don't call Blackpink. Your lovely Don. I want to break free. First of all, I would like to thank our Almighty Father.
for bringing us to yet another precious uh, moment in our life's journey. According to St. Ambrose, nothing is more urgent than that of returning thanks. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank an amazing gentleman and the most kind-hearted lady who has been great to us, students and teachers. They have given us a home, a home where we can share all our sufferings as well as happiness, a home where we can call our own, that is Emmanuel. They are none other than our principal sir and madam. I, on behalf of all the teachers and the students, sincerely thank you both for everything that you have done for us and that you do for us. I, on behalf of the teachers, would like to give you a small gift as a token of our appreciation. And uh, I would like to request our coordinator, Ma'am Sema, to give out the gift. I would also like to request our principal, sir, and madam to come up on the stage and receive the vote. Not forgetting our students, I think our students have outdone themselves at this time uh, without any help from the teachers. Uh, I, on behalf of the teachers and principal, his family, would also like to thank the students of class 11 and 12 for organizing the program. Uh, I would like to thank the organizers, uh, the participants, and those who have contributed financially as well as physically in, in making this program a successful one. We really had a great time. Thank you. And we as teachers, uh, we don't have anything to give you except our prayer, support, and guidance. God bless each one of you abundantly. Thank you once again. All right. I stand here uh, to give a small token of love and appreciation to our VPs and the coordinator. I mean, like, we don't have anything but just a token of love, just a tiny. So please come on stage and have it. All right, uh, I request all of you to give an applause to all the teachers present out here. Uh, since today, uh, you guys has already declared as a teacher's day, I want all of you to applause for them also, for us also. And thank you once again. And like uh, Miss, as Miss Tony have already told uh, you, like we don't have anything to offer you, but our love for you, our prayer for you, will be same as today, tomorrow, and forever. All right. Okay. Thank you. Let's all give our heart and let me pray. Our Father, we thank you so much for being with us throughout the day. And Lord, we thank you so much for your love and faithfulness toward us that we have shown and for your love that we have successfully end this program, Lord Father God. And at this moment, I too like to pray for all the partakers who have taken part in different activities and bless the hand who have decorated this stage beautifully, Lord Father God. Thank you so much. And as we disperse from this very place, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit abide us now and forevermore. Amen.